Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another awesome, exciting tag video for you guys, and this one was actually requested by one of my very long time subscribers, and that is going to be the, I don't quite know what it's called, let me look it up really quick. That is the 20 songs tag. So basically it is 20 questions about songs that you like and songs that relate to each question of this tag. So for very obvious reasons, I am not going to be playing these songs in this video today because I do not own the rights to them. That just can't happen. So if you do want to hear some of these songs that maybe you've never heard before, I will go ahead and put the name of the song in the actual video so you can see it and you can YouTube it yourself if you do want to hear it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this tag. So the very first question is, what is your favorite song? And that is hands down, without a doubt, Metallica's cover of Whiskey in the Jar. That is my all time favorite song in the entire world. There is just something about it that is just super amazing and Metallica does amazing, awesome covers. I think they're really, really good at it and I also really like their cover of Tuesday's Gone. Love it. So yeah, that, but Whiskey in the Jar is probably my all time favorite song and it's been that way for years now. I love it. Question number two is what is the song that you hate the most? And I know this is, my answer for this question is going to be kind of shocking to some people because um, Avenged Sevenfold is one of my all time favorite songs, but the album and the song that I can't stand at all is Backcountry and most of the songs off that album. I, mm -mm. I hate that song so much. It sucks. It just, it doesn't sound right. It's just, it's a terrible song and I freaking hate that song. I know a lot of people really, really like that song, but when it comes to that and me, no, mm -mm, I freaking hate it. But I do love Avenged Sevenfold, but that song is just awful. Question number three is what is a song that makes you sad? And my answer for this question is a song by Bon Iver. Bon Iver, I don't know how to pronounce that. Like I said, I'm putting all of everything right here so you can read it. And that is his song Holocene, Holocene. Don't know how to pronounce that either, but that song is just extremely deep and a beautiful song. And even though I really like it, it does make me kind of sad. I don't know why, but um, I do listen to it regularly just because it is such a good song. But Question number four is what is a song that reminds you of someone? And that is the song Black by Pearl Jam. Um, very personal reasons for that, but I, I really love that song. It makes me cry almost every time I hear it. And it is probably one of my, one of my favorite songs is definitely that one. Um, very, very deep, very emotional song. And I love it. Question number five is what is a song that makes you happy? And that is also hands down, um, Jeffree Star's Beauty Killer song. I love Jeffree Star. His music is super upbeat, super fun, super sassy, and Beauty Killer is my favorite song by him. It's amazing, and I also have a Beauty Killer tattoo on the back of my shoulder, so that just kind of goes to show you how much I love that song. But yeah, that song makes me super happy. Question number six is, what is the song that reminds you of a moment? And that is the song Bad Company by Five Finger Death Punch. It's an awesome song, and I remember the very first time I heard it, I was hanging out um, with Chance when we were together at that time and we were hanging out in his garage and this was around the very first time where I met um, his brother and his brother was actually in the military you know he did several tours over in Afghanistan so and he played that song because we were just talking about music and he played that song and I remember how obsessed I became with it like it was just like one of those songs where I was just like like just overcome with like amazement. Like I just loved that song. So I'll never forget that moment of when I first heard that song and it's just, it's stuck with me ever since. Question number seven is what is a song that makes you dance? And that is very, very easy for me. And that is the song Knockout by Lil Wayne off his Rebirth album, which is one of my favorite albums by him because it's very, very rock feel. And I like rock music the most out of any genre. And the fact that Lil Wayne kind of made like a mix of like rap and rock and put it in one album is awesome. And my favorite song is Knockout off that album. And that song is just like super upbeat and I love to dance to it. So that's a good one. Question number eight is what is a song where you know all the lyrics to perfectly? And that is Unholy Confessions by Avenged Sevenfold. If you don't believe me, I promise, promise that I do. Like if you ever see me down the street and you start playing that song, I, w I can sing the whole song all the way through. It's awesome. That's one of my all-time favorite Avenged Sevenfold songs and I know all the words, 100%. I love it. 
The next question is, what is a song that you like secretly? And it's not really a secret, I just think I haven't ever talked about it on my channel before, that's why I thought it would be a good one for this question, and that is the song um, Zombie by The Cranberries. Love that song. I remember I first heard it on a cassette tape, and then I went home and I YouTubed it, and I love it. It's my guilty pleasure. It's an amazing song. If you haven't heard it, go ahead and YouTube it, but it's so awesome. It's it's very unique, so I mean, if you're someone who's not into the whole kind of like alternative punky type music, then I probably wouldn't say listen to it because you probably won't like it, but if you are someone who kind of has the same taste in music as me, then you'd probably like it, but it's really, really good. The next question is, what is a song that you used to love but now hate? And that's very easy for me, and that is Pain by Three Days Grace. I have listened to that song so much when it first came out. It was played on the radio so much when it came out. It's to the point now where I can't stand that song when I hear that it's on the radio because I'm just like, oh, I can't listen to it anymore. It's just way too much. The next question is, what is the song off your favorite album? And one of my favorite albums that I own is Marilyn Manson's Eat Me, Drink Me album. And a lot of people didn't like that album when it first came out. They didn't think it was very good. They didn't think the songs were very good. Obviously, Heart Shake Glasses did very well, but the album just as a whole just wasn't very popular, but to me that album is life, and my favorite song off of it is Evidence. Ooh, love that song, it's definitely my favorite off that album, and one of my favorite albums as well. The next question is, what is the song that you can play on an instrument? And I don't have an answer for this question because I don't play any instruments. I tried taking guitar lessons and that failed. Um, I played the flute in band in middle school, high school, and I quit that because I refused to do marching band. So um, yeah, I really don't play any instruments, so I can't play any songs, obviously. The next question is, what is the song that you like to sing in public? And that is Shinedown's cover of Simple Man. One of my all-time favorites, I like a lot of covers in case you can't tell, but um, that is probably one of my all-time favorite songs as well, just because we all have that one song that we like to just bell out and sing when it's on, and that's that one. So, I mean, I don't necessarily belt it out in public, but if I hear it and it's on in public, you can bet I'm gonna be singing it because I love that song. The next question is, what is the song that you like to drive to? And I don't actually drive because I am scared of driving and I refuse to get my license, but hopefully that changes this year. But um, if I were to imagine myself just like cruising down the road and I had the radio blasting and it was just me in the car and it was just a nice summer day, that would probably be um, Chevelle's song of Well Enough Alone because I loved that song back in the day when I first heard it on MySpace and um, to this day it's still one of those songs that I love a lot and I can just see myself just like driving down the road just like chilling and blasting that song. I love it. It's really good. But really any song that's kind of upbeat and fun or rock music or pop music, you know, that works too. I would love to drive to that stuff. The next question is, what is a song from your childhood? And I don't know if they mean like childhood like as a being a young child because I honestly don't, I don't know. Probably a lot of like Frank Sinatra stuff and like Tony Bennett stuff because that's what my dad listened to and a lot of my good memories from my childhood are spent with my dad and listening to that type of music. So probably just around that stuff but if I were to go maybe like preteen, adolescent years, um, my one of the songs that I remember a lot from then is Avril Lavigne's song Take Me Away from her Under My Skin album. It's so, so good. Um, it's very, very teen angst. It's very, um, it's just a really good song for the adolescent years. So if you haven't heard it, then you need to. And if you've never heard of Avril Lavigne before, what, who are you? The next question is, what is a song that no one expects you to like? And that is the song Queer by the band Garbage. Now I have no idea if they are even around anymore, but my ex-boyfriend from years ago had a Garbage CD, which is the name of the band, and it was like pink and it had like the G on it. I was like, oh, what's that? And he was like, oh, you can have this. I hate this CD. So I was like, okay, cool. So I go home and I listen to it and I hear the song Queer that's on the, that's literally the name of the song, so don't get pissed at me for using that word. And I listened to it and I was like, this is kind of cool. So yeah, I really, really like that song and I also really like I'm Only Happy When It Rains, which is also on that same album that they have. The next question is, what is the song that you would want to have played at your wedding? Um, I have no plans to get married anytime soon, and if I do ever get married anytime soon to someone, I would hope that our song would be something that we have a connection with, and not just a random song, but I, I mean, if I just had to pick one, 
probably Tangled Up in You by Aaron Lewis. I think it's Aaron Lewis. I don't know. Let me check. Yes, it is by Aaron Lewis, and the song is called Tangled Up in You. So, yeah. I like that song. That would be a cute wedding song, I think. The next question is, what is a song that helps you sleep? And I don't have like a specific song because I don't really fall asleep to music that much. I mean, when I was around like 14, 15, um, when I lived at my mom's house, we had a refrigerator that made like a howling noise every night and it drove me nuts because I can't sleep when there's like constant repetitive noises going on in the background. So I remember always putting in my headphones and just kind of putting on a random album and just going to sleep. There was never just one, one specific song. But um, if I could remember, it was probably a great majority of the time I put on um, My Chemical Romance's um, Welcome to the Black Parade album because that was my favorite album at the time. So I just remember like putting in my headphones and just playing that album until I fell asleep. So I guess I could use that as an answer maybe. The next question is what is the song that you relate to? And again, I don't really have an answer for this question just because I haven't really found a song that relates to me, or at least I couldn't think of one, so yeah, I really have no idea. I, am, I imagine it would be something by Avril Lavigne, just because I am a huge Avril Lavigne fan, I'm not afraid to admit it, um, from her older albums, obviously, but um, yeah, I couldn't really think of a specific song for this question, but probably anything Avril Lavigne. And then the very last question, question number 20 for this tag is, what is the song that you would like played at your funeral? And I couldn't really think of that because that's just kind of like a weird question to think about. But to be funny, I decided on Four Rusted Horses by Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Okay everyone, so that is everything that I have for this 20 song question tag. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to do, so thank you so much Charo for requesting it. I had a lot of fun and hopefully you liked my answers. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give a huge thumbs up and don't forget to go down and subscribe to my channel. But until then, I will see you all very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!